everybody. How you doing? <laughs> I did pretty good. This is an old painting I did, and uh, it was with red and black and didn't like it. So it's been cured. I can paint over it. It's a good little canvas. So what I do, though, when I do a chain pull is I will take my, like, 220 sandpaper and sandpaper it a little because sometimes the this and all i did was sandpaper these areas because you don't want these if they're a little thicker they'll show through so i learned that from experience so we should be good now anyway i've been trying something and now i'm gonna try another one uh i may post that video we'll see of the other one but I'm going to try exactly what I did. Okay, so I'm using that and I'm using some earth tone colors that I favor. Some of my favorites. Oh, I wanted to spray the back of this down just a little bit. Just to get it to tighten up. If you want, if you have stretch canvas, just want to get the end in the middle a little. And then get your center or your corners. Okay. Wobbly, but that's all right. Okay. So here it goes. Oh my. So this is a mixture of with some metallic black and regular artist lock black because I was running out of the metallic black. Then I'm going to go with bright gold. Yeah, bright gold there. Okay. I don't know why I'm putting the caps back on. Then I am going to go with some rose gold. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. Oh, there I am putting the lid on it again. <laughs> then some champagne. Talk champagne. Let me put them all over here. Then some copper. Copper, these are all metallic. Then some metallic white. Then metallic espresso. sort of tilted at the same time but this way move it repeat those steps Espresso, or no, copper. Then white. Then espresso. Oops. Okay. Lift it while I'm pulling it over here. <laughs> Hope that turned out pretty. The last one did because they were uh, 
black and magenta. I'm pretty sure I'm going to post that video. Because it turned out really cool, but I'm afraid it's going to dry dark. That's my only fear. Black and magenta can only have it hard to dry. A little bit espresso. So I'm going to lift it this way while I'm dragging it right in between. Sorry about my arm. I gotta keep them in order. <laughs> I apologize about that. I'm sure that's annoying. And I'm not using my tray because I was afraid that it wouldn't be level on there. Because it's on that lazy Susan all the time. Okay. <clears throat> Probably one. Uh, let me see how much paint. Yeah, just one more here. Course it's not going to stay the same. It never does. You got to stretch them. Can't wait to stretch it. Oh, here we go. Move those out of the way so I don't get full paint. Then I'll just lift it and go off to the side. There he is. There he is. That's pretty. <laughs> Too bad we can't keep it. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so cool. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. I know I was like, don't mess up. You gotta stretch it, guys. Just have to. This is just helping moving it along a little. It moistens the area, so. Yeah, we got plenty of paint, so we're good. And we're gonna lose a lot of this, so yeah. Cause you gotta get some off. You gotta, you know, we're trying not to. So I don't have to moisten because it's like doing good. Okay. <laughs> ah, who knows? We'll see. There's a lot of paint on there. Too bad we couldn't keep that. That was pretty. Ugh, that one's weird right there. Isn't it? I know, that's kind of neat. That's cool. It's not bad. Sure looked cooler the way it was, but you can't keep it the way it was. So, I've got plenty of paint on here. This reminds me of eagle wings. Bird wings or something. So, since this one is so huge right here, I'm going to, because this will this will look cool being stretched down a little. All that's cool. So, let's go ahead and just work that down just a little bit. There we go. I think that's better. <laughs> All right, let's look at it. Which way does it look good? It's 
kind of neat. Different, that's for sure. Suppose I do dig it this way. Hey, <laughs> boy, that was sure pretty. I wish I would have kept that. Or could have kept it, you know? <laughs> uh, but this is definitely unique and beautiful. This is just gorgeous in here. All these metallics. That is really pretty. So it's peculiar. It's different. That's for sure, but cool. So let me see what happens. I give that a little torch and we're done. Uh, where's my little thing? Oh, my little torchy torches. Oh, hold on just a second. I just raised up the camera just a little bit. So I noticed it was a little low, but there's pretty. I just don't want to over torch this. Don't want to just flame away sometimes. Just get a little bit of the bubbles and it'll get some cells in there too. That's kind of neat. Up in here. That's pretty neat. I mean, kind of wish this was more off, but that kind of gives a character. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. And which way did I like it? This way. Tell me what you think. This way. Or this way. Or if you like it at all. <laughs> Who knows. This way. No doubt. Because you know why. Let me just bring that over just a little bit more again there. And then I'll go. And I'll bring it back. All right. Because of this right here. I swear it looks so pretty in there. That's the champagne. There's the metallic light. Pretty cool. That's just gorgeous in there though. Wow. I wish that could be like throughout the whole painting. <laughs> so we could stretch that down a little. Nah, I gotta leave it alone. <laughs> I will, I promise I'll leave it alone. Uh, so, it's pretty neat. Anyway, that was fun. And I will post the other one too, the other the painting. I'll probably post the other painting first. You'll see that black and pink. I'm not real sure. <laughs> All I know is that's pretty cool. That's different, that's for sure. So I've got this positive quote that I'm really liking too. Um, let's see. Okay. Keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts become your words. Keep your words positive because your words become your behavior. Keep your behavior positive because your behavior becomes your habits. Keep your habits positive because your habits become your values. Keep your values positive because your values become your destiny. Ain't that the truth? Oh my goodness. Wow. I can talk a lot about values in life. You gotta have them. All right. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to check out clear photos of anything I do on YouTube, go into my description. 
And there's a link to my Facebook business page where you can see the clear photos instead of just viewing them in the beginning of this, which was, you know, added on with the editor and it goes in and out and just not a full picture, but always comes out nicer on in that uh, when I take photos. Okay, thank you guys. I'll catch you guys later, okay? And um, have a good one. Bye-bye now.